بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلى آلہ وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد ایو الاحباب continuing on in our series of good deeds that we can do for the day today's good deed bi'idhnillah is fasting that if you're able to you should strive to fast the days which are mentioned in the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam like Mondays and Thursdays and know for sure that your deeds will never be lost Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and whatever you do of good deeds truly Allah knows it well and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and whatever good you do be sure Allah knows it and he subhanahu wa ta'ala says, So whoever does good equal to the weight of an atom or a small ant, we shall see it. And he, tabarak wa ta'ala, also says, Whoever does a good deed, it is for his own self. So ayyul ahbab, fasting for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is one of those righteous deeds that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with he rewards it will bring you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it will benefit you in this life as well as the hereafter an abi umama al-bahli radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qal kultu ya rasulullah marni bi amrin yanfa'ni Allah bih qala alayka bi sawm fa innahu لا مثله أبي أمامة البهلي رضي الله تعالى عنه he said that I said O Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم command me with something that will benefit me with Allah he said it's upon you fasting is upon you for verily there is nothing equal to it Ayyul Ahbab, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves that you fast. And this is one of those deeds that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala specifically mentions as it was narrated in a hadith al-Qudsi that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he will, that fasting is for him. He restricts fasting for him subhanahu wa ta'ala letting us know the importance of fasting and extra fasting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fasting for his sake and the immense reward that you'll receive from that. An Abi Hurairah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qal qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qala Allah azza wa jal كُلُّ عَمْلِ ابْنَ آدَمْ لَهُ إِلَّا الصَّوْمِ فَإِنَّهُ لِي وَأَنَا أَجْزِي بِهِ Abi Huraira رضي الله تعالى عنه mentioned this beautiful hadith. He said that the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said that Allah عز و جل said all the deeds of the son of Adam are for him, except fasting. Verily, it is for me, and I reward for it. And the ulama, they say that the meaning that fasting is specifically for Allah, because we do all of our ibadah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his sake. But why it's mentioned specifically with regards to the rest of the deeds is because it is one of the greatest deeds that you can do without exception. 
and that it is something which is between you and your Lord, meaning that no one will be able to tell necessarily that you're fasting. You may perhaps fast for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not a single other person know that you're doing this righteous deed. Whereas other deeds often are deeds that are more outward in appearance and others can, can tell and so it is easier for you to show off with. But fasting, ayyul ahbab, is something that will draw you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it is beloved to him and it is something between you and him subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ayyul ahbab, I want to mention three beautiful things with regarding to the action of fasting or this act of ibadah, this act of worship, which is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what it combines. Fasting combines three types of patience. Patience with regards to being obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the second type is patience on ma'asiyatillah by restricting yourself from disobedience to Allah. And the third type of patience, ayyul ahbab, is patience with the divine decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So ayyul ahbab, be patient and benefit by fasting for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّمَا يُوَفَّى أَجْرُهُمْ بِغَيْرِ حساب. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And verily, the patient ones will be, that their souls will be taken, they, they will, that when they die, and their reward their reckoning will be without uh, account accounting. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of the Sa'adun and bless us to be of the Sa'imun and those who enter the Bab of Rayyan in Jannah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.